evening my viewers i hope you are keeping safe i keep on reminding you each and every day that there's vaccine but we still have to observe to all the safety protocol accordingly do you remember the man who says watch his safe life it's back to us on the pressure show and then our topic is dietary approach to stop hypertension let's welcome mr julius sam Mr. Sama, you are welcome. Thank you very much. What do you have for us today? Okay, so today I have a lot of um, things in pack to deliver to my viewers. I want to say good evening to all our viewers. It's nice being here. It's a beautiful day to discover <laughs> wellness. So I'm here with uh, Madame Beatrice again and we are going to blow your mind. Viewers, he said we are going to blow your mind dietary approach hypertension okay. what is it all right so um basically hypertension or high blood pressure means um, it's a condition in which the force of the blood as it's being pumped by the heart against the artery wall okay. is high so and um, whenever you take uh, the measurements of your blood pressure we have two um, digits in form of a fraction the upper digits and then the lower digits so the upper one is called the systolic and the lower one is called the diastolic so, come down for us yeah so it's just like a fraction the upper digits and then the lower one so when those digits are over or have 140 over 90 or above then we can say you're, you're having high blood pressure but then these measurements have to be taken three consecutive times okay. with the same uh, machine or apparatus to conclude you are hypertensive. And also, viewers should know that um, hypertension is tagged as a silent killer just because it might not show any sign, but then you'll be suffering from hypertension and before you know, you die of. Yeah, so that's why we name it. So, which means that um, viewers need to have a regular checkup. Checkup. Okay. Of, of hypertension. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. So then what causes it? Okay. So basically um, the cause of hypertension is uh, lifestyle factors. Okay. Yes, our lifestyle factors, unhealthy diet, which I'll be breaking down in the dietary recommendation, our um, poor physical activity or sedentary lifestyle. Uh, lifestyle like smoking, uh, intake of alcohol. And also, if you are eating more of uh, food outside the home, you know, when you're eating commercial foods, you won't know what they've uh, used in cooking or you don't have control by the ingredients in that those foods. Yes. And also, um, mostly, uh, sometimes too, it's um, genetic. Yeah. So people have it in their family. So if you have some family members who are suffering from hypertension, within that time, you should know that um, it's possible you can have it. And then if you're having hypertension and it's not being treated, it can result in a lot of things like constant headache, sexual weakness. It might even result in stroke where you won't be able to work. So let's say you are, in, you are a worker and then you are working in a very a facility where you have to be observant. So when stroke or anything set in, you won't be concentrating and that can affect the safety of your work. Okay. So to guarantee the safety of your work, you have to check your BP um, constantly so that you will not be working and then have uh, yourself falling off or not concentrating because when you have a constant headache, you might um, slide off from what you are doing and that will not be safe for you. So to guarantee your safety at work, you should take in these measures. You need to consider these measures. Yeah. Viewers, for your safety aspects, you need to consider these measures visit the hospital to have a regular checkup according to mr sam he's a dietitian a registered nice. dietitian nice. okay back to my sponsors my first dance goes to sheila bonzo for this beautiful outfit sheila i can't thank you enough for supporting this show and then my makeup is by fortune glow fortune glow she has given me a nice makeup and then my hair is by Fortune Wadiego, the same person. You just have to call the number on your screen. 
and that she'll be at your doorstep to braid a nice hair for you. Fortune, thank you so, so much for supporting the precious show. I say God bless you. Do you need a wig cap? Then you need to contact Tochi Beauty Hair Salon. You will do a nice and then a quality hair for you to wear. Frankest Boutique, for your casual wear, party, wherever you want to go, just contact Frankest Boutique on Instagram and then you get a nice, beautiful outfit to wear. Mr. Summer. Yes, Madam Trace. Back to you. Okay. So what are some of the measures we can put in place to manage or to stop hypertension? Okay. So like I said in the courses, one main course is unhealthy diet. So you have to take um, critical attention about your diet. So I'll be giving some recommendations. So in order to avoid or minimize or to prevent hypertension, you should be able to limit sodium intake or high salt intake. You have to limit it. Okay. Okay. And if you're hypertensive too, or you're already in, within that range, you should also make sure you reduce your quantity. So according to the uh, American Heart Association, they recommend for the hypertensive to take about 2,300 milligrams of salt a day. We need to yes. measure. Yes, so we'll be measuring it. And 2,300, but according to, uh, but according to we, the Africans, we can take 1,500 milligrams okay. because most of our foods are already salt made or salt preserved already. Okay. So 1,500 milligram will be around uh, two over three of a tablespoon. Okay. Two over three of a tablespoon. So we prefer you go for um, more of the iodated salt where you can get the iodine from it as well. That's your entire day, the whole day. The salt shouldn't be more than 1,500 milligrams. So you can do the measurements of the salt down so that whatever you prepare in the morning, afternoon and evening, you should use that salt quantity. Even when you buy out from the house, make sure you do the deductions and then make sure your sodium content is in that level. So we advise for you not to go for the rocky ones because measuring the quantity for of the rocky ones uh, will be so difficult and also for you to get the iodine, you have to go for the iodated ones. Then also, you have to reduce your fat intake. So okay. fatty foods, um, more of the fries, you reduce the intake of those fried foods. If you take alcohol, if you smoke, please um, stay away from them okay. for you not to get there. And also when you have some family members that are having it, then you should be cautious and also start um, preventing it before it gets to your turn. And also when you're preparing your food, you should use natural spices and limit the intake of artificial spices. So artificial spices like the cubes, the seasonings, let's use the natural ones like the onions, the garlic, and then the ginger. Let's use more of those ones. Even they are nice natural spices that are made for seasoning. And then they are in the market that we can get and then use more of it. Also, we have to watch our eating pattern, your timing. Yeah. Yes. So most people eat late at night and then staying, uh, not staying a while before going to bed. So it's fine. Let's say your, your work schedule makes you eat at 10. If you, you, are, you have to sleep around 12 to 1. So you have some two hours. Um, stay active before you get to bed after eating. So then one last thing also to recommend for you to prevent and then also avoid the um, contracting hypertension or getting hypertensive is for you to eat according to the um, healthy plate. Taking this plate, so let's take this, your plate, um, as you are going to eat your plate. Okay. So I'm going to divide this plate into half. Then we divide this other half this way. Okay, so you have in three portions one, two, and three. So here constitutes 50%, here 25%, and here 25%. So according to a healthy plate, 50% of your plate should 
be made made up of vegetables, vegetables and yeah. fruits. Yeah. That's the fifty percent should constitute vegetables and fruits. Then twenty five percent should be for carbohydrates and also other twenty five percent should be for protein. That's what we call a healthy plate. So. Uh, as Africa, usually we go for like 75% of, of, the of, the, of the carbo and then we take a little bit of fish uh, and then for the fruit and leaves Fish is there. like 10 or 20% yes, yeah. and then fish the rest are carbo Yes, so fish Fruit doesn't even come even in Even come in, you get it So we should try and go for fruit and vegetables 50% carbohydrate 25% and then protein 25% to give us a healthy plate. So with this eating habit and also staying active, doing exercises, yeah. it's good to exercise. Because when you exercise and it will keep you fit, you get it. And that will ensure your safety at work. Sure. Yes. When you are when you are fit and you are not hypertensive or your blood pressure is not high, you'll be able to concentrate at work. You know um, you won't give a um, problem to your employees. So your safety at work is also ensured. Over there. Hypertension, can we stop it? Is it a chronic disease? Yes, um, I would say it's a non communicable disease, or it can be chronic too. Okay. So, when you've been um, declared or um, we, asked, we said that you are hypertensive based on the explanation I made, checking three consecutive times and it's still high, so we only manage it, we can't cure it. Okay, so, so we can, we can manage. manage it. But then when you manage it very well, you live a life as if um, you, you, you didn't even have the hypertension. So let's try and manage it. And then if you are not yet there, prevent it. If you are not yet there, I like your last words. Yes. If you are not yet there, what? You prevent it. If you are not yet there, then prevent it. If you are young or you are old and you don't have it yet, try and prevent it from you not getting it. It is very important. It assures your safety at work. If you are in good health, it means you can work effectively and then the company will have their productivity. Mr. Sama, your last words for my viewers. Okay, so um, I want to tell our viewers that do your best to prevent hypertension. But if you're hypertensive, follow the rules. Eat healthy, stay active, avoid um, anything that can um, let your BP go high or elevate your BP status. And also, even if you're not hypertensive, check, because it's a silent killer. And when a silent killer comes to your house, you will know until you're dead. That's why the push issue is always here to encourage and educate you to stay safe at work, at home, and within your, your environment for you to live a healthy lifestyle. Thank you, Mr. Sama, for supporting the appreciation. Thank you. 100% thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> My registered dietitian. So viewers, that brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope you've learned a lot. Stop it before it gets into your doorstep. Even if you don't have hypertension, try to prevent it so that you don't get it. For your safety aspects, when you don't have it, you are able to go to work and work effectively so that the company can yell their productivity. My name is Beatrice Lavi. Live safe, you think safe, and work safe. Let's meet the same time this and every Wednesday, 7 p.m. GMT. See you! Bye bye. bye.